we're doing here is showing you the start of the process. Like I said before, we start with sand and we start with metal. We want to be able to compact that sand so that it has a bonding agent so we can make an impression. What we have here is a molder making a mold. He's putting the pieces together, a flask with a pattern inside. He uses parting dust and he's filling the drag or the bottom of the mold. We make a mold backwards so that it sits upright when we're finished. He fills it with sand. He uses a bottom board. That's what the mold sits on. Squeezes it to compact the sand. He does the same exact process again with the parting dust, which is a quick release agent. Sits the sand. Take care of any impurities again. Fills the flask with sand, squeezes it with a bottom board. The bottom board has an impression. He uses a gate cutter to put a hole in it where the metal goes. Takes the pattern out. You have two cavities which are produced and that's exactly what the metal will fill. Dusts it off, puts the pieces together, and voila, one mold. So what we do, is after these molds are made, they have to go to a process called metal pouring. That's where we take molten metal and pour it into those cavities of mold. So what we do is we recycle both our sand and our metal. And what we're doing now is we're going to melt our metal into our furnace. Now when the metal is uh, melted, and what we do is that the armatow is poured from the holding furnace into the ladle and then transferred to our automatic holding furnace. Now you're going to see the metal tap or poured into our automatic furnace. And as you can see, it fills up the molds from the automatic molding machine. After the molds are cooled, they're dumped onto our shakeout system, and a shakeout does exactly that. It separates the piece from the sand. It comes down our shaker system, and the sand is separated from the armatow. What he does at this point, is just separates the armatow piece from the gate itself. Now what happens with these pieces after they're made is they come down and they're inspected. And what we do with the grinding area is just take care of all the rough edges that are on the perimeter of the piece. And what we do here is we take pieces of Armitau and we put them through a vibrating tub and basically what this process does is it makes a raw casting smooth. After the piece is uh, vibratory, it comes over to this stage and we do emery work. And what we do is we get any kind of rough surfaces and we emery them out of the piece so it's ready for the, uh, the polishing machine. This next stage is the automatic polishing stage. And what we do here is we take the pieces that were either in our vibratory finishing area or our emery area and we put those pieces onto our automatic polishing machines. Now, as you can see here on the wall, this is what a piece might look like before it goes on the polishing machine. And after, it comes out with a high gloss. Now, what we do, if we can take a look inside here, you can see the various heads. Each one of those buffs will hit that piece at a different location so that when the final piece is done it's uniform it's polished and it's beautiful